Hey, we're following this pursuit here, another pursuit in Southern California. This one initiated by the LAPD exiting the 710 freeway, exiting the 710 here as we come up in the Monterey Park area. Here's the situation. LAPD Northeast Division saw this vehicle. It's a possible stolen vehicle, and we're getting around so we can see it. It's this white vehicle here you'll see in a second. When they initiated a traffic stop, stop this vehicle failed to yield. You can see it right there, that white Honda there trying to get in and out of this location. LAPD, CHP, right behind, you can see he's probably going to ram that car. He's ramming that car, trying to get around. This is on the 710 freeway northbound, exiting here just south of the 60 freeway. You can see damage already from this vehicle. As a result, there was already one accident, South 5 exiting Dittman. So we're in the Monterey Park area, East LA slash border, following this stolen vehicle, high-speed pursuit here on the surface streets near East LA. Uh, yeah, that's what I heard. I heard earlier paper plates, and so we don't know if this vehicle was stolen from a dealership or what the situation was. Again, the only information, the preliminary information we have right now is it a stolen vehicle. And we're going uh, wrong side of the streets here, trying to, get the, trying to get the streets here. I think this might be Whittier Boulevard. Very busy here, going through an intersection. You can see now he's going on the north side of the street, so that was Soto Street. Now we're turning northbound. We're near Evergreen Cemetery in that vicinity, and you can see just how fast this vehicle is going. Wrong side of the road, going across that vehicle, going next to that vehicle, rather, in East L.A. jurisdiction. That would be L.A. County Sheriff's. We may see them assisting as we come up on an intersection, just had the green light, fortunately, but you can see how dangerous this pursuit is getting. Haven't been able to get a chance yet to hear how many people are in that vehicle, whether there's more than one occupant, whether it's a male or female, but you can see how fast we're going. I think this is Laurel Street going northbound, northbound Monterey passing Laurel. So we're northbound Monterey passing Laurel. I'm familiar with this area here. This looks like we actually are coming into the Monterey Park area. And just look how fast this vehicle is going. CHP trying to catch up, LAPD trying to catch up as well. We have an airship above from Los Angeles Police Department, and you can see how he goes on the wrong side of the road, driving extremely erratically at a high rate of speed, which is why, at one point, they put this in a tracking mode, and it still might be in a tracking mode. Have, oh, wow, look at that. Just went right through that red light. So I believe they may still be in a tracking mode in an attempt to hope to have this vehicle slow down. Kathy, he is driving erratically. Look at this, the way this car is swerving in and out of lanes. No pursuit is worth it. This is just a stolen vehicle. I'm actually waiting for them to cancel this pursuit, which they, in a sense, they did. They put it in a tracking mode. But you see how dangerous this pursuit is. If it's just a stolen vehicle, you have to think about the uh, totality of the circumstances, the exact situation. In fact, ran a red light. There's a county sheriff. Now the county sheriff is going to get involved, maybe not aware that this is a pursuit. So, again, now we have L.A. County Sheriff. Sheriffs, CHP, LAPD, trying to get this vehicle. Here we go. Coming up on cross traffic. We have cross traffic. It just blazed right through that light. This is one of these dangerous pursuits where we just need to terminate this pursuit. It's a stolen car. Hopefully this person eventually will pull over without anybody getting hurt. Yeah, right there. Almost had the head on with that blue Volkswagen bug. Uh, CHP may actually not be on. It's on surface streets right now. So LA may, LAPD may be primary. Uh, but the fact that that uh, sheriff vehicle just saw that vehicle, uh, the stolen vehicle, cross the red light at that rate of speed probably is the reason why he initiated this. So they're getting more information right now, LA County Sheriff's. This is going to come right underneath us. So we're going to try to maneuver news dropper four so we don't lose this shot here. Vehicle coming right underneath us. So let us just uh, fix this shot. I'm going to throw it back to you while we organize. Help me out, Aldo, please.
get in on the 10 eastbound, Aldo. We're in Alhambra now, in Alhambra, going east on the 10 freeway. I'm trying to look outside my window, I'll just look in here. That's the LAPD airship. East on the 10 freeway, so um, I'm almost positive that was probably the Atlantic on-ramp to the eastbound 10. That's the stolen vehicle, slowing down substantially. We'll get on the... Get, come on. I'm sorry, guys. Go ahead. I'm trying to coordinate with the pilot. Go ahead, please. Yeah, guys, he he ex he he exited. We re uh, it's a male who got out of the vehicle, and uh, he's in this parking lot here. We're gonna try to get. We're gonna try. This is a school right now, so we're trying to get the exact location here. He's running southbound through the high school here, so we're gonna try to get a uh, uh, an eye on him. Uh, but this guy's running through a school. You can see there's children in this area right now. Students are out right now, so definitely a dangerous situation. We have a stolen vehicle suspect now running through this school here. So let's try to find him here and see what LAPD is doing. <sighs> Yeah, this is Mart this is Martell High School, if I'm not mistaken. Martell High School. I'm listening to the scanner traffic, trying to find exactly the location uh, of this of this individual here. So, and I believe they may be taking the suspect or the suspect into into custody on the southwest corner. Oh, look, get me on the other side, please. Yeah, they're running on campus. Obviously, I'm following these officers. Once we get around the building, they're making contact with the suspect right now. Suspect is in custody here. Uh, you'll see it in a second. But again, looks like school officials may have actually helped. So we'll get around this tree and we'll show you the end of this pursuit where this ended. Crazy pursuit ending at a school, Martell High School here. I think this might be the Alhambra area right off of Hellman Road. Suspect ran onto the school grounds from the freeway. And you can see all the officers right now initiating a code for their there's a suspect just getting up in the jeans with the orange sleeves. Suspect now in custody here. What a crazy pursuit. Dangerous pursuit ending on the campus of a school here in Alhambra.